AI is here and it's here to stay. Now, it's up to you if you want to keep up with what's happening in the industry or you want to get left behind. So let's get into it. I want to go in and introduce you guys to the best text editor that you can use right now as a developer. Cursor AI, guys. At the end of the day, AI code editor, right? Built to make you extraordinary productive, right? That's the goal productivity. You are going to become way more productive using this tool. And that's what I'm going to call it because that's what it is. It's a tool. And you know, a lot of people were freaking out when AI was coming out, people talking about this and that. There's no more jobs. This thing is going to kill us and etc. right? <laughs> it was all BS, right? It's just like I've been saying. AI is going to be a tool to help us become more productive and being able to build things uh, fairly quickly, especially when you actually know how to code. And we're going to talk about that because that's very important when we use this type of tools. Um, we've seen, you know, a lot of different examples like this one from Mang2, right, where he basically was able to create a whole SVG generator and even add animations like this is a tool that, you know, that he built from scratch just by going in and telling Cursor and Claude AI how to actually go and build this thing and it was able to build it, right? So again, there's a lot of good examples. If you search built with Cursor on Twitter, you're gonna see a lot of good examples. Look at this one. This guy built a Netflix clone in about eight to 10 hours um, with a whole bunch of different features that maybe it will take you, you know, if you started from scratch and you're coding everything by hand, it could probably take you like a good week to actually get all of these features and all of the things that dude was able to add. As we continue to scroll, there's a lot of different things that people are building from applications that are for, you know, Windows, for Mac, uh, for web applications. I've seen people create things even for iOS, Android, multiple different types of languages, you know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, C Sharp, Swift, again, there's so many different programming languages that you can use with this. So this is a great, amazing tool that every single one of you guys got to use. Again, I do want to mention that we are going to be teaching this at codingphase.com, how to use cursor from scratch. So it's actually pretty cool. Now, again, it's free. Anybody can go ahead and use it. Okay. Uh, there's definitely a pro version, which allows you to get unlimited completions, 500 fast premium requests per month, right? Uh, 10 Claude Opus uses per day, right? 40 is, you know, the business, right? Again, I'm using the free version. I haven't had a need to pay for the pro. So that lets you know that yes, you can go ahead and use this 100% for free. Again, you could connect to different type of LLM models, right? So that's something that's pretty cool. So you're, you're just not using just one thing. You could use ChatGPT, you could use Claw, you could use whatever you want. Docs are very simple, uh, pretty easy to get started with. Again, I am gonna create a course to help people that are beginner to understand how to use this. Cause you could go in and look at this tool, but if you don't know how to use it properly, like this is useless to you. Now, this is the important part. This is the big warning. This is the big warning. And this is for anybody that's watching this. If your goal is to become a developer, right? You need to actually learn how to code. Now, again, I'm being fully transparent. It's not because I have a online school that we teach you how to code. And I'm like, yeah, I gotta teach you how to code. I want you to learn how to code. No, it's that the truth is that this type of tools, right? They're not there yet. It's not like you could say, hey man, build me an online store that I could sell t-shirts and it's going to give you a beautiful store, an original store. It's going to go in and give you the starting point. There's so many things that come with like building an online store. So you actually need to know how to code. You actually need to know the processes to actually go and build something like this with all of the features and breaking it down for the AI to help you out. At the end of the day, AI can make a mistake. AI is right now at a point where it could still go in and put in the wrong things if you don't give it the right prompts. Then on top of that, you have to read through your code. Sometimes I've seen situations where the AI is changing files that I didn't tell it to change. You get what I'm saying? Or changing parts of the app that I didn't tell it to change and it's adding extra shit that I didn't want you to add. So guess what? If you are a developer, you can actually go in there, debug it and say, okay, I wanna remove this, I wanna remove that, I wanna add this etc. You get what I'm saying? So I don't want people to use this, this tool 
and, and go through the same thing that happened with people that use frameworks. Back in the days in 2011, 2012, when you know, Angular version 1.0 was out, right? A lot of people didn't even know how to use JavaScript. They didn't even know how to do a for loop. Even to this day, there's people that still make this type of mistakes with you know, frameworks like Bootstrap. Like They don't even know how to actually make something responsive, but they say, let's just put Bootstrap on it. You don't actually know the, the skill. You're just using the tool to solve your problem. But when something breaks or you need to create something custom, that's where you're going to be like, huh? I bubble. <laughs> that's what we call in DR, right? I bubble right there. This, this is a problem, <laughs> right? So you have to be careful when you use these tools as a beginner. Like This is why I haven't talked about it. I haven't introduced you guys to it yet, right? I'm introducing to you guys now um, because I feel like now is a point where now is it's been settled. This is the best one. I've used other ones, right? Other tools, uh, either with VS Code and other text editors, but this is the best one, no doubt. This is the best one that everyone should use. Um, but yeah, definitely go ahead and, and check out Cursor. I am going to be creating a course on CodingPhase.com, and that course was going to cover is basically how to use cursor, right? All of the, the commands from cursor, how to put things together. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add special sections um, for every career path that I have on codingphase.com. Guys, now, anyone that's here that is watching this video, guys, if you have the chance, come to codingphase.com, come check it out. Right now, I'm going to put a link in the description, 40% off on the website, take advantage. Literally right now, you could take um, codingphase.com. We usually sell it 150, 100, right? You could come in and get it at a discounted price. This is the discounted price, right? You got $60 a month, so 240 for six months, 480 for a whole year. You're saving a lot of money on the Diamond membership. You're getting a whole bunch of things in one platform. Unlock $10,000 worth in value. Okay, when you are a member of codingphase.com. So again, guys, I'm going to see you guys later. You already know it's your boy Joe. Love you guys. Take care. Peace.